Hello, this is Tuba Mirza and welcome to our channel Recoded. In this video, we are going to discuss about what actually Deno is. Deno was created by Ryan Dell, who was the original creator of Node.js. Deno was announced in 2018 by Ryan during his talk on 10 things I regret about Node.js. As we can also say that Deno is 2.0 version of Node.js. As per Deno's official website, Deno.lang, Deno is a secure runtime for JavaScript and TypeScript that uses V8 and inbuilt Rust and Rust Tokyo library for the same asynchronous runtime operations. It does not come with additional tooling, it already includes everything that is required with just one file. As earlier discussed, Deno is a secure runtime for JavaScript, which actually means that it does not trust script by default, which you can understand by this small example. Here we have a server script that runs a very simple server on local host 8000 and just send hello world to any request it gets. If we run this simple within Node.js, it won't have any problem. But if we try to run this in Deno, we will get permission denied network access is restricted. Run again with a lawnet flag, this is a security default model of Deno. We can make a network request using the fetch API just like we would do in the web browser. And as it supports the top level, we don't need an async function here. We can start resolving promises without any extra alterations. Deno attempts to make your code as browser-friendly as possible. It contains a window object with lifecycle event that you can listen to allowing developers to write code more easily that can interact between browsers and servers. Also, it can execute WebAssembly binaries. But one thing that won't work in Deno is your npm packages. Instead, you import packages using the modern yes module syntax with remote modules being referenced by their URL. When you run your script for the first time, it will download this code locally and cache it. There is no package JSON and code can be referenced from any URL very similar to how things work in the browser. Deno provides a set of standard modules to solve common used cases. For example, we can import server from the HTTP module. We can use it to create a server that is treated as an async iterable. We can then await every request from the server and respond to it accordingly. And that's an awesome starting point for a server-side JavaScript application. So what's your opinion about Deno? Do let me know in the comment section below. Press the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting recording videos. See you in the next video.